Hello and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Just finished a workout and it's Friday. I just got off work about an hour and a half ago. I really wanted to start off the vlog tonight. I don't know why I never really started off looking like this, but we're just going with it. I got off work at four on Fridays and it is truly the best thing ever. It gets me through the work week. It gets me through Fridays, even though I have an 8 a.m. meeting every single Friday. I don't even care because I get off work at four. It's just such a like great thing. It's something that I look forward to. It I've never had that at any job. I've always worked until like a specific time each day. Like it's consistent. And just having that like hour early get off of work time, it like literally makes such a difference. I'm like getting off of work at four and I'm like, wow, the air is just beautiful. Um, it's so bright outside. Like it's just incredible. Like, I don't know. Getting off work at four it truly puts me in the best mood on Fridays. But I just finished a workout. I'm gonna get in the shower, but I'm gonna hard boil some eggs first. Then we'll cook dinner. I think we're just gonna do like a Trader Joe's meal for dinner, something quick and easy. And then we're just gonna hang in tonight. Um, we're both just like so just worn out still from just everything that we've been doing. So we're just gonna stay in tonight and yeah that's about it i just wanted to go ahead and start off this weekend vlog tonight and welcome me back to another video anyways i'm gonna hard boil some eggs and i don't know how many i'm gonna do i'm gonna have a pickle too these hot pickles i could just die because they taste so good Oh, I have to show you guys something else too. It's these Olipop cream sodas. They're so good. This is not sponsored. They didn't send them to me. I bought them with my own money. I did share them on my Instagram and I did share like a $15 off code or link that you can use. And I'll link it down below if you guys are interested, but that's like a link that they give everyone. I think if you like share it with a friend, they get 15, I get 15. So like it benefits us both. Like I get $15 off um, if you use the link and purchase it. But this flavor is so good. It literally tastes just like, like a ice cream soda float. So highly recommend, I'll link it down below if you click the link and it can be any flavor you want. It doesn't have to be this one. They have other great, amazing flavors. I love Olipop, I love Poppy. Like they're all really good, but Poppy doesn't have a flavor like this. And a lot of the flavors that Olipop has, Poppy doesn't have at all. So they're both basically the same thing. This does have more fiber in it than Poppy does. So this is more of like a fiber thing. I believe like Poppy is more apple cider vinegar based and this is more like fiber based. So they're kind of like the same thing, but like different benefits too at the same time, both great for your gut health, but this flavor is so good. And I just got um, an Amazon package in the mail. I'm like obsessed with nut pods. This is um, kind of, I got it off Amazon. It came with three in a box. And I guess it was like the last box that they had. It literally went through the ringer. It, they're like crushed. And one of them unfortunately didn't make it in the commute to my apartment. So I love nut pods. I've never tried this flavor before. It's the cookie butter flavor, but it arrived like kind of damaged. So I'll link it through a different seller. They sell them like individually. I'm gonna try it tomorrow morning and keep you guys updated on if I like it. This is the sweetened version. It's sweetened and it has sugar alcohol in it. So just keep that in mind. They do have ones that are like the unsweetened ones that are still like the dairy free, which I usually buy. Um, I try to just like stay away from sugar alcohol. The two other ones that I have are the coffee cake and the toasted marshmallow. So these don't have any sugar alcohols in them or anything. They have no sugar. It's like the fake sugar. So there's like unsweetened versions, but this one only comes sweetened. And I'm kind of excited to try it. I think it sounds pretty good cookie butter. Like I just love nut pods. Like they have great flavors. They're like gluten-free, dairy-free. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on this. I'll also link it down below if you guys are interested. I think they have it at Whole Foods too, but it's kind of like sometimes the Whole Foods is out of stock. So those are some things that I'm very excited about. I 
father was always talking about the epic quests. You guys, this time change is messing with me. Like the one that happened last weekend, it's 9.19 and I slept in until 9. And last weekend, I slept in until 10.45 on Sunday. And I was like, what? And I'm never someone to sleep in past like 7.30. So this is very um, shocking. And I guess I was like really exhausted. I went to bed at like 10 last night. So I think I've just been like really tired. <laughs> Anyways, it's 9.20. So I'm gonna make my morning lemon water and then we're gonna try the coffee creamer that I got after. And then I'm gonna like shower and get ready <laughs> for the day. I finished my greens, powder, warm lemon water. Now I'm gonna try the Nut Pods cookie butter creamer that I got yesterday in the mail. And then I'm gonna pair it with the Milked Cashews Milk by Elmhurst. This is my favorite milk. It's so, so, so good. Better than almond milk and oat milk in my opinion. We're gonna do crushed ice for this. Looks gorgeous. Okay, let's try it. Oh, it's good. Kind of reminds me of this one, but like a little bit sweeter because probably the um, sweetened part of it. Yeah, it's really good. Tastes like cinnamon is added to it. So if you like that in creamer, you would love this. So I'll link it. I just finished getting ready for the day and it's 2.30. I really took my time, had a very slow morning, cooked breakfast, and then just finished getting ready. I'm actually going to dinner tonight with two of my friends, Jenna and Megan. Jenna moved here a couple months ago from South Florida with her boyfriend and Megan is the girl whose wedding I went to a couple weekends ago in Jensen Beach. If you guys missed that vlog, I'll link it down below. But she just got married and she's coming up here for work. She's actually in town for the weekend for work. She's working today and I believe tomorrow. So we're all getting dinner together and I'm really excited about that. We're going to Prado tonight for dinner. It's on Park Ave. It's Italian. Um, I always get the mustard spaghettini. It's really, really good if you're ever in Orlando. If you haven't tried Prado, you definitely need to go. It's absolutely incredible. I'm actually surprised that we got a reservation for tonight because it's really hard to get a reservation on the weekend. You have to book multiple weekends in advance. So I feel really lucky that we actually got a reservation for tonight at 7.30. So I'm probably gonna pick out an outfit in the next couple of hours. It is 2.30. I think we're gonna grab drinks beforehand at like 6, 6.30. So I have about two and a half hours before I have to be ready. So for tonight, I wanted to wear one of my new perfumes that I got in this month from Dossier and also thank Dossier for working with me on today's video. You guys have heard me mention Dossier so many times over the past couple of months. I truly truly love their perfumes and I think this is a great option for someone who maybe wants to try a high-end designer very expensive pricey perfume for a lot less first before they maybe go out and make that purchase or if they can never justify purchasing a super expensive perfume which it is hard to justify that price point because some of them are like $300 and I think that is just insane so you can definitely get the same exact scent for a fraction of the cost at Dossier. They have so many different perfumes to choose from. Women's, men's, unisex, you name it, they have it. A lot of the perfumes that I've actually wanted to purchase, they have on their site. So it just makes much more sense to 
buy the perfume off their site even to just see if I like it on me and how it mixes with my scent because everybody has a different unique scent to them and scents do wear differently on everyone. That is also another thing like you could smell a perfume on one of your friends and be like oh my goodness that smells incredible what is it and you can go out and buy it and you could hate the way it smells on you. So Dossier allows you to purchase that really high-end luxury perfume for a great price which I love. It has allowed me to try so many different perfumes that I could never justify buying not through Dossier. So the two perfumes that I got this month I'm really excited about. They're both inspired by Replica fragrances which I love the replica fragrances they smell so delicious so the first one I'm gonna share is inspired by replica jazz club and I've seen this all over I've seen a lot of people purchasing the actual replica version of this and so when I saw it was on dossier the um, inspired by perfume I knew I wanted to try it so it smells very woodsy and I think they describe it perfectly. Their name for it is Woody Tobacco. So the notes are right here. They give you this little card, tells you what it's inspired by, their name for it, and the notes. So I think this smells really good. I might wear this tonight. It's definitely a nighttime fragrance to me. Definitely would be great for like fall and winter as well. I know we're slowly getting into like spring and summer, but this is definitely more of like a nighttime perfume for me personally. Yeah, I think it's just a perfect scent. So I'm really excited about this one. The next fragrance that I got that is also inspired by a replica fragrance, which I have tried before. I bought the little version of this. So I think this genre of perfume, kind of like the beachy, coconutty, like just aquatic scents are ones that I really gravitate towards. I love them. They just smell so good and like beachy. And I think that's it's perfect scent for me year round. I do live in Florida, so we never really get like a true fall or winter here. Um, it's basically like spring and summer year round. Those are our two seasons. The name of it is Aquatic Coconut and that's exactly how I would describe it. It just, it reminds me of the Tom Ford um, scent that I got a couple weeks ago by Dossier. They also have like a Tom Ford really yummy beachy scent. It's the Soleil Blanc and that one smells very similar to this. They both smell really good. I love the like beachy scents. Oh, it just smells so good. So this is like also, it's really light, fresh, um, a little bit florally, coconutty. I really enjoy this scent. I think it's perfect for year round, perfect for daytime. It's very just fresh smelling. So those are the two scents that I got from Dossier this month. I think I'm definitely gonna wear the Woody Tobacco one, which is inspired by the Replica Jazz Club for drinks and dinner with my friends tonight. So thank you so much Dossier for working with me on today's video. I did wanna mention that Dossier is also available at Walmart in store so if you do want to go into a Walmart store and smell some of the perfumes too you totally can it's available in Walmarts in the US but I will link the two perfumes that I got down below as well as the dossier website so you guys can shop and find perfumes that you're interested in trying you should definitely try these two as well so just wanted to share I'm really in the mood for another coffee I know I'm doing like dinner and drinks, so maybe I'll like go out and treat myself to a Starbucks coffee. Maybe I'll go out and do that, but I'm just gonna hang out for a little bit until I go to dinner and drinks with them. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I did in fact drive all the way home before trying the coffee, but I saw this on TikTok and apparently it's like a macro friendly Starbucks that like still tastes good but still tastes like coffee. I don't count like macros or anything like that so I didn't really care but I did want to try and see if it tastes good because I do like getting coffee out. Sometimes it helps when the coffee tastes good but it's not necessarily super high in sugar. I feel like that's one thing that I try and um, just be mindful of is the sugar in Starbucks coffee sometimes it's just like you don't even realize how much sugar is in it and it's like bad for your skin just your gut health like that's 
what I'm mindful of. So I saw it on TikTok and it's a grande cold brew with, she does a venti with three stevia, but I did a grande with two stevia. I never really have tried a coffee with stevia in it, if I'm being honest. I used to just get from Starbucks just like a coffee, like a hot coffee with almond milk. Like don't mind the taste of coffee. I actually love the taste of coffee. I love the taste of espresso. Like I love it how it is. So it's with two stevia with half and half and then cinnamon powder. I've never tried something like this before. You can also totally do probably like a pump of um, the unsweetened vanilla. It's sweet. There's like no like flavor to it besides the cinnamon powder, but I do taste like the sweetness of it because of the stevia, I'm assuming. It is pretty good for a healthier coffee. It does have cream in it, the half and half, so it's not dairy free, but um, it is pretty good and sweet, but still tastes like coffee for like a Starbucks coffee and it's not full of sugar. It is still really good. So this might honestly be like a go-to for me, something where I'm like, I don't necessarily want all that sugar all the time. I just don't always want like a super sugary coffee. I've just never really been like that, except for when I first started drinking coffee. That's when I was like, caramel macchiato, extra caramel, or vanilla latte, extra vanilla. Like that's when I first started drinking coffee. But now that I'm like more into coffee, I've been drinking coffee for like 10 years. I think this is just like a go-to. Like this would be a go-to when I want something like sweet, yummy tasting, but not something super full of sugar. Would definitely be this. And I love this cinnamon in it. Highly recommend. I'll put the order right here on the screen if you guys are interested in trying it. The girl usually gets it in a venti, so she does three stevia. But honestly, I feel like the grande could be fine with just like one stevia. But I'm also someone that just like truly enjoys the taste of just plain coffee so maybe that's just me but she gets three stevia in a venti half and half and then cinnamon powder and it's a cold brew really yummy i'm gonna go inside and watch uh, a couple youtube videos because i have a little bit it's three o'clock now um so i have a little bit before i have to get ready but i really wanted to try this and i really like it so okay it's a little bit later i'm about to pick out an outfit for dinner and drinks tonight. I just spent the past like hour and a half putting the finishing touches on a vlog. I think I'm gonna end up uploading it tomorrow instead of Monday, just because I did kind of finish it today because I had some extra time. So that's what I've been doing. And now I'm about to get ready because it is 5.30 now. So I'm about to pick out an outfit. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear. Maybe I should check the weather. Okay, it's gonna be like in the low 70s, high 60s. I just got these little jean things off Amazon. I have tons of jeans like Levi's, um, jean shorts. I have like four pairs of jean shorts that I can't wear. The way, let me know if you guys relate to this. The way that some jeans fit, especially Levi jeans, they fit so strange on me. I don't know like what it is. I have to get them like a little bit bigger in a size because they're like so tight on the legs and like butt area and my waist is just like a little bit smaller i do have more of like an athletic build so i am like not so much hourglass but it doesn't matter like jean shorts like gap in the back so i got these little buttons that you can attach to jean shorts anywhere to make the waist fit and it comes in a big pack of 12 of them and they're like under six bucks on Amazon. So you can kind of like change the fit of certain jeans and pants. So it's kind of nice to be able to adjust certain jeans to fit your waist a little bit better. So I'll link these down below if you guys are interested and you have like certain pairs of pants that just like kind of gap in the back it's really hard for me to find jeans and jean shorts ever since i discovered abercrombie jeans though those fit so nicely on my body type but certain jeans and certain jean shorts like levi's like i mentioned just don't fit that well but i have a couple pairs of them that are like older that i got custom made to me but they still just don't fit my waist that well so i'm excited to have these Okay, I wanted to quickly share my outfit in the full length mirror. 
before I headed out the door. I don't think this top is still available though. It is old from Urban Outfitters goes pretty low in the back. It is a top, not a bodysuit, but it is long enough to tuck into the jeans. I'm wearing Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. I also added the little extra button that I just shared on these jeans to help them fit a little bit better. These are my normal size, but some jeans, I love the 90s high rise jeans that I have that don't have the distressing in the bottom. Those fit so great around the waist and they stay really tight fitting, but these get loose throughout the night and they're not the same fit at the waist. So I added it here to help them fit a little bit better. I'm also wearing a little hand chain from Lily Clasp and then over here it's just my permanent bracelets, but that's the jewelry. And then just the rings that I wear every day. I moved this one to this finger just because I was adding the hand chain to this one, but I usually wear it on this finger. And then I'm carrying this back. So that's the fit.